Hello, my name is Stefan Buikens. I'm an architect engineer from Belgium. This course will introduce you to the use of McNeil Rhinoceros 3D modeling application and its use in architectural freeform modeling. McNeil is an American company who develops several software applications, but their main application is Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros, as it's called here, is an accurate freeform modeling tool and it's currently available for Windows and also for Mac. Um, you can find more information on the McNeil page and there are specific pages for Rhinoceros, the different versions, where you can download the software, where you can ask to buy the software. There's also a gallery of the different types of projects people are making using Rhino. Um, apart from the Windows version, there is also a Mac version. The Mac version is currently in development. It's not fully released yet. But as long as McNeil is developing the software, it's freely accessible for people who are willing to test it, try it, uh, and maybe crash it a few times, provided they give feedback to the developers. You can buy Rhinoceros from different resellers. Um, it's good to know that it's a commercial software with a, with a reasonable price. It's around a thousand euro. Uh, there are different extensions for rendering or animation, but they also have special, um, special pricing if you have a bundle of different applications combined. Uh, you can have a lower price if you're an educational user. Students, faculty users can buy the software for a limited price and which is quite exceptional. Uh, it is also allowed to use the software uh, which is identical to the commercial version also for commercial work. So while you're a student, while you're learning, it's very interesting to buy the software and continue to use it without um, disobeying the license agreement. Um, Rhinoceros is, has a wide community of users uh, and is also a, a system that is extensible with different uh, plugins and add-ons. For instance, Grasshopper is very popular for parametric design. What many of these extensions have several communities, several groups of users. It's also good to know that there is um, a wiki. Uh, wiki is just like kind of a knowledge base for different software applications, uh, which you sometimes find very detailed, very technical descriptions of certain elements, um, which, which might be useful many times. Good, that is a main overview of this, the company McNeil and their main software application, Rhinoceros. As we said already, the software is available on Windows, uh, which is version 5 that is seen here in the screen. Um, it's, it's a CAD system. It has several tools for modeling and modeling, for rendering, for visualization, for drafting, and is particularly well no known for complex 3D geometry. Software is also in development on the, for Mac. Uh, this is the Mac version of Rhinoceros with the current version of the interface, which might change in the future. And this changed a few times during the last few years. Uh, but the basic concepts is the same. The 3D models you create are compatible between the software versions. So basically, for basic modeling, the choice is just the platform you are using. Um, but it might be that, depending on the certain plugins you want to use, that you might be restricted to a particular platform. Good. That gives an overview of what McNeil is, what Rhinoceros is. Um, so let's get started this course.